work out today because we get to do some different stuff. So we're going to start standing. So come on up if you're not already standing. And we're going to start with some neck mobility work. So a lot of times I notice what happens is in our daily lives, we tend to start to round out like this and our head starts to shift forward. And in an ideal world, chiropractors say that our ears should be in line with our shoulders. So we want to shift back. so We don't have a 10 pound ball of weight just pulling us forward. So starting just to get the neck moving a little bit, we're going to take 30 seconds and it feels silly, but it's good for us. We're going to shift forwards and backwards. So just starting to fully extend the chin forward and pull it back, working the muscles of the neck. And as you do this, you want to pull your shoulders away from your ears. So we're really isolating the neck here. And working through that range of motion. And we have 10 more seconds. Forwards and backwards. Good. And then come back through center. Give your shoulders a roll. Next 30 seconds, we're going to continue on with the neck. This time, we're going to move our head side to side. So you can even make fists with your hands to isolate the shoulders. 30 seconds, we're just shifting side to side, trying to keep the shoulders down, squeezing out as much range of motion as we can. Just moving through that stretch. Continuing to press this down towards the floor. And it feels a little weird and it looks a little weird. That's exactly what we want to be doing. Last 10. And then we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the head a big roll to the right, keeping the shoulders pulled away from the ears. Letting that upper trapezius muscle relax. We tend to hunch it a lot. And then take a couple circles over to the left, move the other way. And restack the head on top of the spine, think shoulders over ears, now that we have good posture in mind. And with cats, we're bigger. So let's get into those forearms. These are called cherry pickers. We have two 30 second sets. So start to extend your arms out by your side. And like most movements with the device, you get to choose how much effort you put into this movement based on how much you can track. So make fit. And first 30 seconds, we're going to move really slow. Lift the wrists up, roll them down. Pick them up, roll them down. And ideally, we keep our wrist, I'm going to reset my cycle, in line with our shoulders. And take it nice and slow, really feel that contraction. And up. And down. And if you're really working through it, you should be starting to feel this in the forearm. Last 10. Maybe grow a little bit taller. Good. Five, four, three, and two. Nice. Shake out those fingers. Now we're going to take our second set, and we're going to move fast. So extend the arms up to the sides. Make those fists. 30 seconds up and down. And just because we're moving fast doesn't mean we can't be working hard. So keep those fists really tight, arms extending, reaching towards sidewalls, really working through it. And as we're working the forearms here, we're also getting a nice little dose of wrist mobility. So working out those joints. And we've got 10 more here as fast as you can possibly go. First hip. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release those fists. Give the hands a shake. And one more set of exercises for the forearms. Then we're going to pause for a moment and take a little poll and see where folks are from, because I want to get a better idea of who's in our room. Who, who's here? What are we doing? But first, second forearm exercise. So making fists again, I want you to draw your elbows in towards the midline of the body, and don't let your elbows move here. So 30 seconds, nice and slow, we're going to lift up, press down, up, and down. And you can start to see the veins in your forearms working. We go up and down. And these are called frontal rotations. And up and down. And we're half done, maybe squeezing the elbows in towards the midline of the body even more. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel my forearms working. We have five. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. And second set. We're going fast. 30 seconds. Go. 
Make sure to keep those elbows pressed in towards the body, engaging the core, growing really tall. Yes, that's it. I like it. Up and down. Good. Last 10. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Release it, shake it out. Everyone pause, take a moment. I wanna take a quick poll. We're gonna do plenty of hard work today. Let's see where folks are from. Um, so Steve, if you wouldn't yeah. mind unmuting everyone for a second. Um, let's get a hello if you're from California. Any Californians out there? Hello. Give us a shout, woo! All right, okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right, what about Midwest? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Representing, yeah. Lord. Where are we from? Chicago. I love it. Anyone else? I'm in Tahiti right now. Tahiti. Oh my gosh! It wasn't a competition, but you win for coolest location. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. Anyone? East Coasters. What have we got? Yeah. <laughs> we got Boston. Boston. Yeah. Jersey. <laughs> Boston, Florida. Jersey, we're darn proud of it. I like St. it. St. Pete, Florida. Woo! New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. Who's in New Mexico? Gwen and John, we just got your uh, katsu, and we're excited. We've been watching the uh, the whole thing and getting really excited. Good. We are and happy to have you here. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of our workout. Thank you for everyone who gave us a shout. It's really important for us to know who all is in the room so that we can really come together because it's really neat to have people across the country doing the same workout. So with that being said, let's get our heart rate up a little bit. So our heart rate boost today is three moves, 30 seconds per move. And there are modifications depending on your body type. So I'm going to hop on up. The first one, I got, I got your, sorry, sorry, let me get uh, unmute her. Mm. Come on, there we go. Uh, go ahead, there you go. I'm good? Yeah. I was just gonna kind of awkwardly dance in the yeah. meantime. All right, so the first one is a reach and kick. So we step back with the right foot, we reach down to the floor and we kick up. And if getting all the way to the floor or the kick is too much, you can just tap back, knee up. Tap back, knee up. Otherwise, down, up, down, and kick. Down and kick. First 30 seconds, go. All right. Down and kick. And halfway through, we're gonna switch to the other side. Try and keep your spine straight the whole time you're doing it. Starting to get the heart rate up. I like it. All right. Switch sides. Left leg back. We go back. Kick. Back and kick. Woo. Last 10. Then we're going to switch to the second set of exercises. Doing your best or whatever variation you can. We have five, four, three, and two. Hop on up. Walk to the back of the mat or your space. We're going to walk the hands down the legs, walk out into a plank position, walk back up, roll up, and clap. We come down, walk out, walk back, roll up, and clap. These are called inchworms. We're already half done. Keep moving. Walk it out, walk it back, clap at the top. Moving the upper and lower body to get the heart rate going. And I'm going to demonstrate the first set. And then the next one, I'm going to let you guys roll with it. So after this next one, walk yourself back up. Come on up to stand. Final 30 seconds, cross jacks. Arms are up nice and strong. Let me see those biceps. We go cross, 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 and cross. Now, I'm doing the step variation. If you're needing a little bit more today, because why not? Let me see you jump. Cross, 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 and cross. Get your heart rate up. Now we're going. Good, last 10. Yes, we have five, high, high on the toes, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, for the triceps, it's a forearm plank press up. So there's two variations we can do here. The first one 
is we're in forearm plank and we have our knees down and you press all the way up, all the way down. Now notice my elbows stay under my shoulders the whole time. I press up, I press down. If you want a harder variation, come into plank position, press up, drop the forearms, press up and, and drop. And now we have two 30 second sets. First one, we are rolling. And I'm gonna take a gander at the room to see how we're doing. I see a lot of people's rooms. <laughs> Good, totally fine to do this on the knees. Justin, I see the work, I love it. I'm really bad at pronouncing names, so I'm gonna do my best. And if I don't get it right, please don't take offense. Quentin, I see it, keep going. Good, we're gonna rest in five, four, three, two, and one. If your knees are not dropped, drop them, take a pause, come down to sit, give the wrist a shake. Yeah. All right. Start to make your way back onto your forearms, either with knees dropped or in full plank position. Check your elbows. Seconds that we are going. Press up and drop. Press up and drop. Cool. Adam, do your press ups. <laughs> all right caleb i see it i see john's back coming up and down we have 10 more seconds go jeff go a couple people don't have video on but that's fine doing our best we have five four three two and rest come up to sit shake it out And good job. So we grabbed a towel at the beginning of our workout, and now we're gonna put that towel to use. If you don't have a towel or a belt or something to use, you're gonna do traditional bicep curls, just as effective. But sometimes I like to switch up the routine a little bit and do something kind of different. So with that being said, grab your towel or whatever you have. You're gonna come on down to sit. And as we progress throughout the workout, some things we do are gonna be pretty difficult and require a lot of throwing around of body weight. All I ask is that everyone do your best. Um, movement is movement. So whatever that looks like for you is absolutely perfect. So we can actually recreate a bicep curl like we would do in the gym with no equipment using only our body and a towel. So start by bending the right knee, take your towel underneath your foot and grip the towel with fist pointing up. Now start to get the leg off the floor. And we're gonna do 30 seconds bicep curls, really contracting the muscles, pulling the leg up and down. And if you want more of a challenge, straighten that leg out even more resistance. Up and down, up and down. First 30 seconds, we are moving. So either bent leg and down, up and down. And if you're taking the straight leg version, you're getting a hamstring stretch as well. Really keeping the elbows pulled into the midline of the body, checking our spine to make sure it's straight and strong. And up and down, driving the heel of the leg away from you to create that resistance. Using the core, we have five more seconds. See if you can grow a little bit taller for four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop the right leg, give it a shake shake the biceps out, and then clasp the hands behind your back, doing your best to lengthen the arms down the back of the body for a bicep stretch. Good. Now we're gonna take the second set. This time, hook your towel around the arch of the left foot, and take the fist facing up, get the leg either knee bent, we go up and down, and try and keep the elbows hugged into the body. Up and down. Second set, we are going. If you took a straight leg on the first side, try it again. Check your spine. And down. My watch is talking to me, telling me to stay safe. <laughs> Good. Up and down. Driving the heel forward. Imagine you're pressing a wall away from you the whole time, keeping that tension, pulling your belly button in, feeling the biceps working. And last 10. 
I like it. We have five, four, three, two, and release. Shake it out. And for our next set of exercises, we're gonna do it for the shoulders and the chest. It's an up, up, and a down, down. I'm gonna demonstrate, and then I'm gonna set you guys free to do two sets. The first one is a moderate pace, and the second one is a fast pace. Now we've got a number of West Coasters, a number of East Coasters, and some Midwesterners, everybody else in between. We're gonna divide up into West Coast versus East Coast, and you get to pick which team you're on if you're in the middle. For the first set, we're going nice and slow, getting used to the exercise. For the second set, we're gonna race and see who of each team can do the most reps. So with that being said, let me show us what we're gonna do. You go from high plank, you go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And as you do this, my hips are not shaking. My body is nice and stable. Only the arms are doing the work. So first 30 seconds, nice, moderate pace, always okay to do this on the knees. Down, down, up, up, we're going. So getting our practice in to see how many reps we can do on our next set. All right, so Otto, I see Bonnie moving, looks fantastic. George is flying already. <laughs> Last 10 seconds, nice Caleb. Good, we have five, four, go Devin, three, two, and rest. Whew. All right, now, Steve, I think we should take everyone off mute for these. I like to hear people working. So for this next 30 seconds, we're gonna go as fast as you possibly can. One rep is down, down, up, up. That's one. So see how many you can do. Set yourself up, second 30 seconds, and go as many as you possibly can. Okay, here, breathe loudly. I like it, yeah. as we should be. We're working hard. Good, I see Camille, I see Jeff. Chris's video is off, but I know he's working. I am. Hi, you are. Go, John, and the dog. <laughs> Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Come up, take a breath. Okay, those who identified as West Coasters, give me a shout. What do we do? Grab some water. Um, I just lost you. Did you just go? Oh, there. Yeah, we uh, hear you, Adam. I can hear you, Adam. How wow. many did Otto do? I will go to my spend some time on that. I'm sure it's prettier than what I've put together because these guys seem to be focused on the, the graphics piece of it more. So, so. I think I'm losing the audio on people. We can also toss up numbers in the chat or we can just keep moving on. No, no, we got, we got everybody. We got everybody? Okay. Yeah. What do we think, Steve? Did the West Coasters or the East Coasters win? I, I don't know. I think anchored by John Doolittle in uh, Florida, I think the East Coasters won that first round. Coasters won? All right. Yeah, baby, 27. <laughs> <laughs> All right, East Coasters, you can take this one. Luckily, we have another competition later in the workout. So I see 18 from Camille. I love it. Uh, West Coasters will have a chance to redeem ourselves, myself included, in Santa Monica later on. So, let's come on up. Come on our way back to our mat. I see 15. All right, Bonnie, I like it. All right, so we go ahead and toss everyone on mute again. We're going to come back down and do some more work. So, as we talked about earlier on in the workout, we spend a lot of time in our lives sitting like this. We round out, we slouch, we dip forward. And so it's really important that we work the muscles of our back so that we can sit up nice and tall and proud and we don't hunch more and more as we continue to get older. We, sorry, Laurel, I didn't, I need to uh, unmute you, Laurel. I just, uh, just want to find you. Am I good? Can you hear me? Yeah, good. You're good. Cool. All right. So especially athletes, when we're doing things, we're playing water polo, we're swimming, we're rounding out. Let's counteract some of that. So coming down onto our stomachs, 
And I'm going to move my device over to the side. Checking our cycles, getting going. First 30 seconds, we have Superman or Superhuman. We lift the arms and the legs and we set them down. We lift them up and we set them down. So let's go ahead and get going. 30 seconds, gazing down at the floor as you do this. Lifting the arms and the legs and lowering them down. And the whole time we do this, we want to be engaging our glutes to protect our low back and really reaching through the fingertips to keep that arm straight, nice shoulder extension. We go up, we go down. Last 10 seconds, see how high you can go. Really challenge yourself. First five, four, three, two, and rest. Now while you rest here, give your hips to wiggle side to side. For our second set, we're gonna lift the arms and the legs. This time we're gonna pull the elbows in. We're contracting the back of the shoulder blades, so those posture muscles, and we're lengthening out. Elbows come in, we lengthen out. And if you can, keep your legs lifted the whole time. If it starts to tax the back, drop them down. So let's lift the arm, lift the legs, second set, and go. Elbows in, lengthen out. Elbows in, and we lengthen. I'm gonna hop up, check on everyone, see how we're doing. I like it. I'm looking down, keeping the back of the neck long so we're not crunching into the neck. 10 more seconds, make sure you're breathing here and let's add a little bit of a pulse at the end. So start to draw your elbows in and hold little pulses. Imagine you're clapping your elbows behind the back. We have 10, nine, eight, and seven. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Release everything down. You can make a pillow with your hands and rest your cheek on it. Rock the hips side to side. Because the last thing we're gonna do here is, many of you are familiar with this, we have 30 seconds of swimming. So again, lifting the arms and the legs, we lift alternate limbs, keeping length extension from the fingertips to the toes. 30 seconds, let's swim it out and go. Fast as you can go, swim, swim, swim. And as we're do this, doing this, you wanna to continue to draw your core in, protecting the back. Taking as much bend of the elbows as you, out as you can. Yes, Jack is moving, half done. You got a shark on your heels, get out of there. Let's move, last 10. Really working those limbs for five. Awesome, Justin, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone roll onto your back and pull your knees into the chest. Let your spine bend the opposite way, rock side to side, release the low back. All right. Now a couple times, rock and roll up and down along your spine until you come on up to sit. And we will take a break to switch out our bands. If anyone has questions, now's a great time to ask. And let's go ahead and pop the armbands off and switch over to the legs. Okay, everybody's unmuted if you'd like to ask any questions. Uh, I don't know if you knew, noticed the subtle difference in uh, Laurel's uh, arms, her forearms, especially when she was doing the bicep exercises. <laughs> very pink, very rosy, and that's what we want. We want the arms and the legs to be very rosy, um, very pink, very flush with color. Um, and it should be a, a pinker, redder color than the, our torso or our shoulders. Okay, no questions. I'm going to mute everybody and then hand it over to Laurel again. So... I learned this technique from John uh, with the leg bands, actually putting them on standing up and angling them up as much as we can, getting them all the way into the hip creases, the leg creases. And then once you have them on, actually coming back down to sit, letting the muscles release and tightening them up even more because it's really hard to overdo it on those leg bands. So go that little extra bit if you can. Really tighten them up. Think rock climbing harness, 
We're angled slightly up at the sides. And let's set ourselves up for our next set of exercises. So just like arms, we want to work the smaller muscles of the legs first. So we're going to start with our calves. And if anyone has a wall or something they want to hold on to, you can do that here uh, because we're going to start to engage the balance a little bit for this exercise. So go ahead and set your cycle. And once we're all strapped in, you can find your wall or your edge, or you can use something without it if you really want to challenge. We're going to do a single leg calf raise today. So go ahead and pick your left foot up and only with the right leg, we have 30 seconds, we're going to pick it up and down, up and down and keep going. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can take your hands off the wall or the edge, up and down, and down. It's hard. Good. And if you do it with no hands, making sure we're using the core to keep us really stable. Good. Now everyone lift your right heel off the ground and hold it. Little pulses down and up. 10, 9, 8, 7. Getting that heel off the floor for four. Three. We're burning. Two. And one. Lift all the way up and set it down. Let's go right into the other side. My right leg is up. And I happen to have a ledge in my house, which is very handy. Good. 30 seconds. Left leg. Lift that heel and down. And you can use a chair, a wall. You can balance, no hands. The movement might be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We go up and down. And see if you can get that right leg even closer in towards your chest. So we're not only working the legs, but we're also working the core. Good. In five seconds, we're going to lift the left heel and work into it. We have three, two, one. Little pulses up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven. I feel it. Six, five. Four, three, two, lift all the way up and set it down. And let's take a quick calf stretch before we continue. Step your right foot back behind you. Make sure your heel is glued down towards the floor. And then take a generous bend into the left knee. You can use your hands to press down as you continue to press that right heel back. Nice big stretch. And if you have a wall or something close by, you can take your hands to the wall and use that to create traction, pulling yourself back pushing yourself back Good. and then switch sides left foot back glue that heel down bending into the right knee creating traction and go ahead and press that heel back even more and then start to come out of it shake it all out and we're going to move into our next exercise which is called pendulum lunge so we have four sets of these. We're going to be doing one leg only. Hands either forwards or on the hips to start. We lunge forward, step, backwards, step. Forward, step, backward, step. And if you want to play with balance, you can lunge forward, pull the knee in, backwards, pull it in. Okay, so no steps. First 30 seconds, right leg only. Let's go. Nice. Good. Testing the balance if you want at the top, pulling the knee in. And as we lunge, making sure that our knee is stacked over our ankle the whole time. All right. I'm sorry if I'm getting the name wrong, but Kaori, those look amazing. The last 10, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the other side. We're going to take a break after the second side. Left leg, we lunge forward, step, backward, step. Option to remove the step and hold. Backward, hold. Forward, I see everybody moving. Keep going. We're already 10 seconds in. Someone by the name of iPhone is doing fantastic. <laughs> I see Judy. Last 10 seconds. So Jack, in five, we're going to take a pause. We have four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. 
and let's let those hamstrings lengthen out a little bit. Clasp the hands behind the back, bend the knees, dive forward, fold, getting a shoulder and hamstring stretch. Rock your hips side to side. And then release your hands, let everything hang like a rag doll, wheel it out. And roll up to stand. Second set, back into the right leg, 30 seconds. We lunge forward, either step up, backwards and step, or skip the step and hold at the top, back and hold. And if you wanna get your heart rate up a little bit, you can go for speed. Seeing how many you can do, but this is not a race. So making sure we get form over speed, last 10, and then we're gonna go right into the other leg. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, left leg. We are moving. And there's a lot of people I can't see. Whoever Charles is, I assume you're doing your best. <laughs> Same with Jane. All right. Cool. I see Steve moving. Come on, Devin. Last 10 seconds. There we go. For five, four, three, two, and rest. Right into our heart rate boost. First 30 seconds, we tap, kick, tap, kick. And we're going. Getting the heart rate up. If the kick is too much, you can tap, step, tap, step. Otherwise, all the way in. And switch sides. Tap, kick, tap, kick. Last 10. Really get those kicks in there. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Inchworms, walk to the back of the mat, the floor, walk it all the way down, and walk out into plank. Walk it back, roll up, clap. If you're needing more here, walk it out. Walk it back. Jump and come down. Whoop, lost my thing. 30 seconds, we're going. Yes. But I got to see that clap at the top. <laughs> there we go. Last 15. Then we're going to go right into cross jacks. We have 10. And five, four, three. Two, come on up to stand, get those elbows going, cross jacks, you can step or you can jump. Get my timer going. See if you can get high on the toes, little jump in between each one if you want. And move, and move. The more we can get the arms and the legs going together, the faster we can get our heart rate up. And that's what we want here. Cross and across. Yes, last 10. Good, we're gonna take a rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Grab a sip of water to prepare for the next exercise. Questions, comments, now is your time. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a shoulder roll. As we tend to do exercises, sometimes we all kind of hunch up and get small. We wanna relax everything away from the ears, give the head a rock side to side, get some hydration. Steve is telling us in the chat we're doing nice. That makes me happy. If you've got questions, either toss them out via chat or you can unmute yourself. And I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise and then we'll do it together. So it is a squat to alternate lateral step out and in. What the heck does that mean? So we come into a squat position. My feet are slightly wider than hip distance. I stay low in squat. I go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Now notice my hips, my upper body does not move. The standing leg does not move. In, in, out, out, in, in. We're starting with the left leg. 30 seconds per side. Something to be mindful of is to keep our back from dipping. Engaging the core, first set. Feet hip distance, get low. We are going, 30 seconds, we go out. Out, in, in, out, out, in, in. See if you can get even lower. There we go. Out, in, 
in. And as you continue, that standing leg is going to start to burn. And that is what we want. See if you can keep dropping the hips lower, pressing them back. 10 more seconds. Get down into your lowest variation possible. You feel that shake, that burn. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand. Hands to hips. Rock it side to side. We're going right into the other side. Drop back into it. Check your spine. Are we rounding out? Uh-uh. Lift the chest up. Core is engaged. Left leg is working. 30 seconds. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. That's it. Even lower. Yes. iPhone Eric, awesome. Yuri, Judy, yes. Last 10, get really low. See if you can pick up the pace. Len, we are doing it. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand. Step the feet wide. Take your right hand down your leg. Reach up and over with the left arm. Big side body stretch. Legs are straight. And come back to your center. Switch sides. And we come back up. Now, second set. Option to take your hands behind your head. So you can either have arms in front of you or a slightly flat, harder hands behind the head. We're gonna start with the left leg. So, student's choice, whatever you wanna do, or cat's choice, here we go. First 30 seconds, second repetition, second set, go. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, and now if your hands are behind your head, keep pressing your elbows back. Don't pull the cave and grow small. The whole point of this workout today is to open everything up. More than half done. Get low. George, you are killing it. Last 10. Mm-hmm. Whoever Samsung is, <laughs> looks good. We have five, four. We're going to hold at the bottom. Three, two. Step that foot in and hold it. Pulse it up and down. Keep pressing your elbows back for eight, seven, lower, six, five, four, three, two, isometric hold, four, three, two, rise up slowly, release the arms, pedal out the legs, and we're going to go right into our final set. So your choice, hands in front or hands behind the head, drop into it, right leg is moving, we go out, out, in, in. Kayleen and friend of Kayleen looks awesome. Quentin looks good. Nice. Camille, I see those elbows wide. And Jeff, last 10 seconds, get low. We're going to work into it at the bottom. Nice, Caleb. We have three, two, hold it. Drop as low as you can. Isometric hold, 10 seconds. Press those elbows wide. Option to reach the arms up, swoop them back behind you. Reach them up, swoop them back. We're flying, four, three, bottom low, two, swoop your arms back, rise for a count of four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. We've done all of our standing leg work. Now we're gonna get the heart rate up again. We have our Second competition for West Coasters versus East Coasters. Simple move, most of us are familiar with it, mountain climbers. So, I drop down, you can either be on your knees, I'm gonna angle my screen down a bit so you can see me. You can either be on your knees and go elbow to knee, switch and switch, or if you really wanna fire up your body, in plank position, knee to opposite elbow. And we're gonna go three sets. We go slow, moderate, and then we're racing. 30 seconds each. So everyone, set yourself up, either hands and knees or in plank position. Check those wrists. We're underneath the shoulders. Good form. First 30 seconds, slow. Think about engaging your core and try to get contact between your knee and your elbow. We're going. Hayden, if that's your slow pace, I'm excited to see fast. 
No, don't let me stop you. Keep going fast. <laughs> Good, last 10. Nice, George. Good, Jack. We're gonna rest in five, four, three, two, and take it down. Catch your breath. Good job. Shake out the wrist. Roll them out. All right, I see that shake. I like it. Really roll them out. Get them out. All right. Second set, moderate pace, getting the heart rate up. Make your way into your form of choice, knees or plank. 30 seconds, moderate. We are going. Get those knees in. Still seeing if you can find contact between knee and elbow. Just because we're moving fast doesn't mean we can't engage our core. All right, Otto. Now I'm seeing some upper bodies moving. You want to try and keep your upper body as still and as stable as you can. Can. So we shouldn't be shaking and rocking just because we're moving our legs. Justin looks great. Good. Last five. Four, three, two, rest. Find your hand. And take your palm, gently press your fingertips back towards your forearm. So we do a lot of work with our hands like this, typing. Let's we'll bend the wrist the other way. Switch sides. And, and then press the finger down towards your form. So rounding out the wrist the other way. You might feel a stretch across here. And switch. All right, we're moving fast. Take your team, West Coasters, East Coasters. You know who you are. Everyone in the middle, just decide where you want to be. Final set, 30 seconds, as many as you can. One, two, three, four, that's how we count. Ready, go. Yes. Awesome, get it. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. We're breathing, keep our body going. Kayleen, cool. Enrico, I'm probably butchering that name, I'm sorry, but it looks good. Last 10, as many as you can possibly do, squeeze them in, we have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come down to sit. See what's on mute, folks, and see what we've got. Everybody's unmuted. <gasps> Just yell out a number. What counts as one? Each knee counts as one. So okay. one, two, three, four. Then uh, 48. 48. 48. What do we have? 55. 62. Oh, 67. Six, I'm seeing 53 in the chat. Awesome. 44. Whoever had 62, are you East Coast or West Coast? I had 67. Whoa. 67. That's right. That's East Coast Boston right there. Oh, <laughs> Gator. Hey, nice yeah. job, Quentin. 64. Right. The best of the West Coast. What do we have? I heard a 55 on the West Coast. I had 66. 66 as Kayleen. I was 48. All right. Awesome. Dr. Swenson had 48. Dr. Right. Swenson. Bonnie, I think 64. Camille, 64. Guys, these are great. I think we have even higher numbers than we have last week. We're getting stronger. I love it. Should we have an East Coast, West Coast competition? Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, this was like absolutely not. Uh, okay, who had, who was it? Boston, was that Chris? Who was the oh, highest? That was East? Quentin. That was Quentin? Me. Yeah. All right, you're up. Now, who was highest of the West Coast? I saw a couple. I think Kayleen was 66. Kayleen, where are you from? California. Girl, you're up. Quentin versus Kayleen. Set up. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah, we're doing Come on, Quinn. Get up there. Come on, oh. you. Seconds. Ready? Go. As many as you can do. Quentin's flying. Everyone else, enjoy the break. Drink some water. Take a nap. Kay Kayleen is a senior from Los Alamitos High School, and Quentin is a swimmer from Gator Swim Club in Boston. Cool. Last chance. Final opportunity. Who's going to win? We have five, four, three, two, and done with the mountain climbers. Where are we at, guys? Go ahead. Shout it out, Kayleen. One. One? 
87. Whew. Back to you. Yeah, he, Girl, we can't get this to the East Coast. All right, you're fine. All right, let's continue on. Good job, everyone. All right, so time to come down onto our back for some bridge work. And this is different than something we normally do in our workouts, but it's important to build our glutes to support our back and the rest of our lower body. So coming down to your back, the move is we lift up into a bridge position and our butts are off the ground. I lift my left leg up. I lower the leg, lift the leg, press my butt up an inch, down an inch. I lower, lift, butt up an inch, down an inch. If it's too hard with one leg, up an inch, down an inch with both legs, okay? 30 seconds per side. Get that left leg up. Nice hamstring stretch. And we are moving. We drop the leg down, kick it up. Hips up an inch, down an inch. Lower, lift, butt up. Part way down. At no point should your butt hit the floor. Yeah. Seeing how high we can kick that leg up towards the midline of the body using our core here. So not only is our butt working, but also our core. And if your hamstring starts to cramp, you're normal. It happens to a lot of people. Okay, we're halfway done. Oh, sorry. If you can, uh, and yeah, there you go. Yep. All right, we're gonna go right into the other side. Set your right foot down. Lift your left leg up. Try and keep your butt up. Left leg goes down, kick it up. Press the hips up an inch, down an inch. Drop it down, kick it up. Hips up an inch, down an inch. Speed does not matter here. Try and keep your bottom off the floor as high as you can the whole time. Yeah. So this is our first set. We're gonna take a pause and do one more after this. Really squeezing your glutes. So instead of arching your back, activate your bum. Last 10. Good, Bonnie. In five, we're gonna set the left foot down, but we're gonna stay in bridge. We have four, three, two. Set the left foot down, little pulses up and up for five, four, three, two. Lift your hips all the way up, big back bend. Lower down one vertebrae at a time as slowly as you can. And then windshield wiper the knees side to side, release everything. And if the single leg bridge was not working for you, just do it with two feet down. For our next set, you have the option to do the same thing, okay? We're gonna press up into bridge. First, we lift the right leg up. If you're wanting more here, extend your arms towards the ceiling, balancing on your shoulders. So the upper body does not move. We drop the leg down, up, press the hips up an inch, down an inch, down, up, hips up an inch, down an inch. Second set, right leg is going. And if your hamstring is really cramping, you can try scooting the left foot closer in towards your butt. It tends to help a little bit. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I just see Judy's foot flying up and down, but it looks good. Nice, Quentin. Now see where you can lengthen out that right leg even more, lengthening the hamstring. Good, last five, four, three, two. Set the right foot down, right into the other leg. What's up, keep them up, keep them up, we're going. Cool. This is our last lower body exercise. And then we have core and we are done for the day. Try and keep your heel down the whole time. Yes, last 10, what's up? In five, we're gonna set the foot down, little pulses at the top. We have four, good Justin. Three, two, and one. Set your foot down, little pulses up and up. Get your bottom as high as you can. Imagine you're squeezing a pillow between your knees. Don't let them play out to the side. First six, five, four, three, Two, and lower down. Slowly pull the knees into the chest. Circle them around one direction. Move them around the other direction. And then come up to sit for a moment. I'm gonna demonstrate the first 30 seconds of our core work. So, first 30 seconds. You have two options, okay? These are called roll-ups. You roll all the way up to sit, 
and roll all the way down. My feet do not lift off the floor. If you are more of a challenge, you roll up to sit, pull the left knee in, roll down. You come up, pull the right knee in, and come back down, alternating side to side. We have 30 seconds of that. After that, I did not make this up. This is a real Pilates exercise. We roll like a ball. I keep my feet off the mat. I keep my head off the mat. I roll back and up. Silly? Absolutely. Working out should be kind of fun, okay? 30 seconds of that. And then the last bit of core we're doing is we're in a hollow body hold. Two 30 second holds, my back stays down. I'll walk you through all of it, okay? So first 30 seconds, come down onto your back. We do the roll up. Option to pull the leg in, roll all the way up. Come all the way down. Roll all the way up and come back down. Time is going. And this is it. After this, we are done. <laughs> cool. Yes, seeing if you can use the core strength instead of the momentum of your arms to get yourself up. I'm seeing it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Both knees in. Rock and roll up to sit. Feet off the floor. Let's pause for a second here. Everyone pull those feet in. Try not to let the back of your head or your feet touch the floor the whole time. 30 seconds. We roll back and up. We roll back and up. Oh, I love it. George, that looks great. You guys are doing awesome. Nice, Justin. See if you can pause at the top, everyone. Pull those knees in even more. Here we go, good. Okay, all right, beautiful. Last 10 seconds. iPhone Eric looks great. Got it, Caleb. We have five, four, three, and two. Make your way onto your back. Now, the only rule of these is your back has to stay against the floor the whole time. So if I were to try and slide my hand underneath my back, I wouldn't be able to. So let's work in it together, into it. Arms up, legs up. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Start to lower your legs down and reach your arms back only to a point where you can keep your back down. If your back lifts, lift everything up more. 30 seconds, hollow body hold. Keep pulling your belly button and pulling your spine the whole time. Press your back into the floor and lengthen out from fingertips to toes. If this is too much on your lower back, do it with bent knees and breathe through it. If you're starting to feel that shake and that burn, good. Last 10 seconds here, press your lower back down even more. Reach those arms out. We're gonna pull the knees into the chest in five, four, three, two, and one. Pull it in, relax the head, take a big breath in. Let it go one more time. Arms extend up, legs extend up, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and drop into that hold. 30 seconds, my timer's going. If your back starts to hurt, pick your legs up more towards the ceiling. There is no point in harming ourselves in the name of building core strength. And breathe. And breathe even more. See if you can slow your breath down. David, I can't see you, but I know you're doing great. Last 10 seconds. Adam, you too. Chris as well. In five, we're gonna pull the knees into the chest. Four, three, two, knees into the chest. Drop them both over to the left, let the spine release. Bring them back through center, drop them both over to the right. Relaxing the shoulders into the floor. And then roll over onto one side, prop yourself up to sit. Come into butterfly stretch, pull the feet together, give the knees a wiggle. Good, and one last stretch here, grabbing onto toes or ankles, something, pull yourself into a forward fold. I don't care how low you can go, the most important thing is that you relax your upper body completely. 
Let your forehead drop towards the floor. Let your shoulders relax. Let your forehead, your jaw, even your tongue relax. Take one big breath. And roll up to sit. Bring those hands together and give yourself a big round of applause. Good job, everyone. Steve, I'll let you take it from here. If you want to post the Facebook link in the chat, I everyone will. come check it out and we will continue the conversation. If anyone is interested in one-on-one -on -one sessions or a smaller group, um, feel free to in, uh, email us at info at katsuglobal.com and we can set that up. Thank you so much. Awesome job. Bye.